We all know that Nobuo Umatsu is a genius. He's my favorite video game composer who has written some of my favorite video game soundtracks and some of my favorite music, period. Many Final Fantasy fans feel the same way. I recently saw some unfortunate headlines in the news saying that his career of making full-fledged soundtracks might be over. Let's get on. I only recently learned that Nobuo Umatsu has been having health problems, but apparently he has been having them for quite some time. I found his old blog post from September 20th, 2018. 18, where he wrote, To my dearest fans, since the establishment of Dog Ear Records, I have found myself blessed with countless opportunities. From composing new works to holding concerts around the world, my days have been hectic yet fulfilling. The resulting fatigue, however, has finally caught up with me, and I find it mentally and physically difficult to go on at my current pace. After giving serious consideration to all options, I have decided to take an extended leave of absence and give my mind and body the time they need to properly mend. If I am to return, I want to do so in full health. Do not worry. Once I've made a full recovery, I'll be back doing what I do best. My current plan is to rest for the remainder of the year, and while I cannot commit to a method or time frame for my return, I'm very hopeful. So he took a leave of absence starting in September 2018 until the end of that year, but he was back to work in January of 2019. I then found an article entitled, A Top Composer Beloved Worldwide Nobuo Uematsu from August 15th, 2019 on 1millionpower.com. The interviewer asks regarding his health problems from 2018. Did you end up getting hospitalized? And Uematsu-san replies, Apparently I was close to dying. I wasn't totally bedridden, but was completely worn out and transferred to different hospitals. I thought that at least my body was still in good shape, but with this, I'd completely lost confidence in that. It impacted everything down to my mood. The interviewer says, It sounds like both your mind and body were fatigued. And Uematsu-san replies, I like putting my all into everything that I do, so I'm going to keep giving it my best no matter what. That's just a habit of mine and I can't change it now. I take on a bunch of work and put as much as I can into all of it, and that's why I'm exhausted. But I can't do anything about my age, and I realized for the first time I'll have to start considering these things more carefully. I won't read the whole interview, but Uematsu-san goes on to say that when he was younger, he wasn't able to make a living off of music, so he constantly works, and he keeps accepting work, in fear that he might run out of work or run out of money. He feels that from age 30 until the present day of age 60, Time has passed so quickly. He joined Square in 1985, and after the successful release of the first Final Fantasy in 1987, he has been busy ever since. He feels like adults really are just aged children, and he's still excited at age 60 about figuring out what he's going to do with himself. He also recently got certified as a sound healing therapist. Sound healing therapy helps relieve ailments through vibrating different types of large tuning forks. He had actually dreamed of one day becoming a sound therapist feeling that there was something about music that could heal people's hearts. Uhamatsu-san goes on in the interview to talk about being a self-taught musician and composer. But I especially like the end of the interview where the interviewer says, You're just a person who can never stop. I hope you can keep pushing forward like this forever. And Uhamatsu-san replies, I won't be settling down. So that interview was from 2019. Fast forward to 2021. I found an article on mobilesyrup.com which was talking about how Hironobu Sakaguchi, who who created Final Fantasy and is now head of Mistwalker is currently working on a classic RPG entitled Fantasian for Apple Arcade. To add to the game's classic JRPG feel, Sakaguchi-chan enlisted longtime friend and collaborator Nobuo Uematsu, but the collaboration almost didn't happen with Fantasian. Here's a quote from Sakaguchi-chan. Before we approached him to work on Fantasian, he was going through some health issues, and there were concerns if he was going to be able to compose everything or if it was even possible for him to work on this, but ultimately, Uematsu-san pulled through to compose the game's entire 60-piece orchestrated soundtrack. It's an especially important collaboration for them, says Sakaguchi-chan, as the work required to compose and orchestrate entire soundtracks might prove too difficult for Uematsu-san going forward. I think he kind of hinted that Fantasian is maybe the last game that he does from end to end in terms of scoring an entire soundtrack, recalls Sakaguchi-chan. While he notes that Uematsu-san 
Bowman will likely continue to do individual composition for games, Fantasian might be his last record. If Fantasian is to be their last full collaboration though, Sakaguchi-chan says he's more than happy with the end result. On a positive note, he poured his heart and soul into it. For me, when I heard it, it almost made me tear up a little bit because it was a very big moment in both of our careers. So because of Uematsu-san's health issues, it's possible that Fantasian might be the last full soundtrack that he will be able to create, but he contributed one new track, Hollow, on Final Fantasy VII Remake, and we might see him pop up from time to time on more projects like that, where he writes individual tracks as opposed to contributing full soundtracks. Honestly, it's kind of disheartening to read these headlines and to learn that he's been having health problems, and that he's likely to, at the very least, slow down his music composing projects. But at the same time, he's literally a living legacy. I mean, think of his entire discography, and all of his wonderful contributions to the Final Fantasy world, to the video game music world, and to the world of music in general. I don't think we need to be alarmed, I don't know for sure, but I really hope that we don't need to be. But I just think that, in light of this recent news, we should try to show him our appreciation for his music while we still can, in any ways that we can. If you're familiar with this channel, you know that I'm a huge fan of his, and I hope that many people who come across my videos see this channel as a celebration of not only Final Fantasy, but of Nobuo Uematsu and his music. Many years ago, I went to see a Final Fantasy concert, and I paid extra to get a signed CD and a short meet and greet with Nobuo Uematsu, Susan Calloway, and Arnie Roth. What can I say? He's the best. They say that you should never meet your heroes, but I met mine and he was as legendary as I always thought him to be. So here's my question for you, what is your favorite piece of music that was composed by Nobuo Uematsu? I'd love to know your responses, definitely let me know down in the comments. There's a ridiculous amount of tracks to choose from. I immediately think of Final Fantasy VII. Cosmo Canyon comes to mind, but also Opening Bombing Mission and of course Tifa's theme, and there are many, many more, but those come to the top of my my head at this very moment. For other videos from Odd Drummer Gaming, click or tap the screen. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more content like this. Stay odd and keep on playing.